AITA for letting people know through social media the reason I wasn't at my dad's wedding. I, F18, was always pretty close to my dad. Closer to my mom but I often visited my dad, about 34 times a week. A few years ago he started dating Anna. Anna and I always got along when my dad proposed I was happy Anna seemed like she would be a great stepmom. Well a few weeks before the wedding after I had bought everything, dress, shoes, etc. My dad and Anna said they needed to talk to me Anna and my dad decided to have a child-free wedding which I get especially for young kids. Well turns out child-free means no one under 18. On the day of the wedding, I was still going to be 17 so, therefore, I'm not allowed to be at the wedding because Anna wants to stay true to the child-free rule even for the daughter of the groom and her about to stepdaughter. The funny thing is my 18th birthday was just two days after the wedding. But still, I wasn't allowed to go. The wedding was just last weekend, the 12th, and my birthday was yesterday, the 14th. I haven't talked to Anna or my dad since they told me I couldn't attend the wedding since I wasn't an adult. My mom ended up taking me on a birthday vacation and yesterday I posted birthday pictures on Facebook and said finally an adult I'm so glad my dad and Anna didn't allow me at their wedding since I was under 18 I feel more mature since yesterday. The family was freaking out asking if that was true and bashing my dad and Anna. I later got a bunch of texts from my dad and Anna calling me immature and a selfish brat and that's why I was too immature to be at a wedding. I was talking to some friends and they said I was kinda an off for doing that and I should have just let it go. Auntie A. What kind of man doesn't have his own child at his wedding? Anyway, they made the choice, if they believe it was the right choice they should have no issue about it being publicly known. Plus, people might well assume you weren't there because you disapproved of his new wife or chose a vacation instead. Ensuring people know why you weren't there saves your own reputation. NTA banning the 17-year and 363-day-old daughter of the groom from a wedding because it's child-free is a decision. A decision to exclude. To not invite. To make unwelcome. Not just in their wedding but on their lives. NTA I wonder what they told people who must have asked your dad where his daughter was on the wedding day. NTA the rule was nonsense, designed to exclude you specifically. They know it, and so do you. Reply to your father that you now know where his priorities lie with his new wife who didn't want any reminders of his old life at her wedding and you will act accordingly. This is just the first of many times they exclude and insult you. I'm very sorry that you've found out this way how little your dad values you, but now that you know, be proactive about ensuring he can never hurt you like this again. NTA Keep being a wide-eyed innocent and be totally baffled at why they are asking you to lie about the real reason. Say, I kept getting asked why I wasn't there so I figured it was better to just tell everyone at once. Never sway from this and keep acting like you can't understand what the problem is. Literally just keep repeating, but you told me not to come. Why would you want me to lie about it? Rinse and repeat. Never change the wording regardless of how it's phrased. They lied about why you weren't there. That's why people are bashing them. NTA I hope your dad thinks it was worth it to trash your relationship over this. NTA child-free weddings are for people who don't want little kids running around or because they don't want young teenagers around alcohol. Your dad and step specifically excluded you and are pissed now they realize that their actions have consequences and you publicly called them out on their behavior. NTA. You did nothing but tell the truth. Not your problem if the truth is embarrassing to them. Watch out for Anna going forward. This is not the behavior you demonstrate if you want a good relationship with your stepdaughter. She's told you who she is. Believe her, your father is the biggest awe in this. The no children was made for you. I'm sorry but let that sink in. She made that rule to keep you out. You now know where you stand in their marriage. You don't, I'm so sorry. NTA, I personally think it was epic. Harsh but epic. They deserved more than that. I would even update it with pictures of their texts. NTA. They disinvited you. Told you that you were not welcome. 
and are now crying because you honored their wishes? Good thing you are 18 and get to make some choices. NTA at all. Applying child-free rules to groom or bride's own kids is assholish enough. The icing on the cake is. The said child being two days away from 18 lol. Anna and dad both are great A assholes. Well done. Op. NTA. Quite frankly. Anna sounds like the very definition of evil stepmother and your dad is no better for allowing it. Seems like you're better off without either of them in your life. Your mom sounds great. They had full reign over when the wedding was going to happen and they picked two days before your birthday. Nope they planned this. NTA. They screwed you over and now they are angry because it came out? Their problem. If they really think it okay not to invite the groom's daughter they should not worry about it being public knowledge. Kudos to your mom for being the one who is a real parent. NTA. I'm not sure who I am more horrified by Anna or your dad who allowed this atrocious behavior to take place. You posting what happened probably headed off a lot of gossip about why you weren't there most of which probably assumed that you didn't want to go for some reason. So, they purposely planned their child-free wedding two days before your birthday. If we strictly adhere to their rule which Imho shouldn't apply to the freaking daughter of the groom. And get mad when you called them out on it? NTA. Not in a million year. I'm so sorry you have been treated like that. And if I were you. I would be extremely wary of your stepmother's next moves. NTA. Anna seemed like she would be a great stepmom. Things aren't always how they seem. Dad will make a surprised Pikachu face when you have your mom walk you down the aisle at your wedding. NTA. Be prepared. Anna showed you her true colors for the wedding. NTA. Anna successfully put a wedge between you and your father. Which is probably what she was looking for. Single Mano Kids. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.